counting down my top five new Korean dramas of February 2016. Coming in at number five, we have Marriage Contract. Starring Uyi and Lee Seo Jin. This is a story of a woman whose husband dies and she is forced to raise their daughter alone. But she discovers that she has a brain tumor and is going to die. So she enters into a contract marriage with a man to provide a guardian for her daughter. It's clearly, definitely going to be a melodrama. Some romantic comedy elements should be involved. And number four, The Promise. This one centers around actress Iyuri, who plays two twin sisters, one twin who likes this boy and she gives everything to him and he dumps her for a Che Ball's daughter, granddaughter, granddaughter. She dies heartbroken, so her sister, her twin sister wants revenge and she goes after the daughter and the ex-boyfriend and kind of falls in love for the Che Ball heir along the way. Very dramatic. My number three pick is a drama titled Page Turner. Kim So Hyun and Jisoo star in this drama about a girl who's pushed by her taiga mama to become an amazing pianist at a performing arts school, but she gets into an accident one day and she like totally smashes her hand and can't play piano anymore. So she's got to discover a new life and Jisoo's gonna help her along that direction. I know in three episodes I'll be checking it out and I don't really watch high school dramas. At number two, Come Back Mister or Come Back Ajashi. They changed the title to make it a little bit more English appropriate. Rain is back along with Eamon Jung in this drama about a man who is a total workaholic who dies and his spirit goes into the very smexy body of Rain who works as the head of a woman's apparel department because that's gonna be getting all the women shoppers to go by the shizzle. Rain is great advertising. And Eamon Jung's character plays a beautiful housewife whose husband dies and she falls for Rain because who wouldn't fall for Rain? Smexy advertising, women's apparel, good dresser, whole package. <laughs> and my number one new Korean drama of February 2016 is Descendants of the Sun. This very much anticipated drama is Sung Joon Ki's return to Korean drama land after his military service. The last drama he did was Innocent Man a long time ago. And Song Hye Kyo coming back. The last drama she did, I believe, was That Winter the Wind Blows. They're in a drama together. They've been talking about this one and filming this one and showing snapshots of this one since fall of last year and I could not wait to see it. It's a story of a UN peacekeeping troop leader and a doctor from Doctors Beyond Borders who are stationed in the same city in the midst of turmoil in an alternate universe because they're not actually talking about the Syrian crisis that's really going on right now. They're, they're talking about another world. They're together. They like each other and there's war and love. Frankly, it looks like it's going to be somewhat reminiscent of a very gory mash because there's going to be romance and comedy and fall. I don't know, but I know that I'm going to be checking it out. Are you going to be checking it out? Drop it out in the comments. Last week, which drama story do you like better? Full House or Playful Kiss? And not surprisingly, both of these are fairly on similar par because they're both really great classic stories that have been adapted multiple times, but Full Head Full hedge, full house, edged it out just a little bit. Full house for the win. For this week, whose K-drama comeback are you more excited for in February? Sung Joon Ki or Rain? Click here or the blog post link in the description or drop your answers in the comments and we'll find out the winner next week. I got some of my newest and most favorite paintings that I painted last month here behind me. Last month meaning January. I'm actually filming this in January. Oh my goodness, this month new paintings. Go check them out and click the link in the description to go and look at them. If you're interested in purchasing one and supporting us at Holly You Back, we'd appreciate that. If not, you can go and check them out anyways. There's also a link for this shirt if you like fun galaxy shiny print shirts. Click the like button on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more Asian drama videos. That's it, you guys. Happy drama watching. See ya!